And we're back with the weekend edition. We're joined now by the newly sworn in fire chief himself, Joey St. Nicholas, to tell us about what he has planned for the new Guam Fire Department. Thanks for joining us, Joey. Well, thank you for having me. So tell us, what are some of your plans offhand? Uh, well, first and foremost, of course, is the addressing the ambulance and, and fire truck situation that we have, uh, the shortage of. Uh, what we've done already is basically address the immediate need of getting the proper amount of ambulances, at least a minimum amount of six to seven ambulances operating at any given time. Uh, not stopping there, we've, we've moved forward with uh, the procurement of, uh, of ambulances, purchasing from different funding sources. Uh, the very first one coming from the DOI, Department of Interior, a grant source, uh, which was awarded uh, uh, just before the new year uh, to MIDPAC to, for the purchase of three ambulances. So uh, that, you know, is just a start to, uh, to uh, make sure that we don't have a repeat of our ambulance uh, shortages. Okay. Uh, following that, uh, shortly after will be the submission of our specifications to procure the needed fire trucks to make sure that we have adequate uh, fire service, uh, suppression services uh, coverage throughout the island. Any plans to restructure some of the uh, personnel in the department? Uh, well, you know, uh, a lot of our, our mission is, is uh, operationally based. Mm -hmm. uh, due to the different shortages amongst the units, uh, the professional requirements that are needed, the special skill sets such as uh, rescue diving, repelling, uh, EMS, uh, EMTs, advanced life support units, and then also the outside factors of deployments and, and other things of that nature. Uh, we do have to make some movements and uh, I'm working with my chief staff to uh, uh, chief officers and the, and the staff to to ensure that we have a well-balanced uh, uh, dispersion of, of personnel to ensure that we're able to meet our mission mandates at a minimum. Now when we first spoke and you were first appointed to the position, your goal then was to pretty much make sure that the headquarters facility was properly transferred out of the again facility to here in Tizen. Uh, what is what is your goal now? Uh, well, you know, that goal still remains a, a, a there because uh, you know just like with any organization without the head uh, in its in its right place to work efficiently uh, it's very hard to handle where the tip of the spear is at so at this point although we've moved to TZN we're still not in an adequate location uh, we're, we're dispersed we're decentralized I have chief officers at different uh, fire stations mm -hmm. uh, which you know needs to be all brought in and, and centralized so that we can properly uh, uh, support the those guys that are out at the fire station. Um, following that, uh, of course, you know, the station upkeep, uh, you know, rebuilding our, our older fire stations, uh, moving forward with the retrofit plan that Guam Energy Office is working uh, with us on uh, to, to turn our stations as green as possible, uh, from repairing the roofs and, and, and painting them to using energy efficient appliances and, and things of that nature. Um, and also, at the same time, working with our 911 center, uh, which needs a much needed upgrade and or replacement uh, to the next generation system that, that appears to be the, uh, the best solution for our island. Uh, we're in the specs uh, review stage at this point, and uh, I, I expect that we'll be submitting that for a, a bid, uh, hopefully by February, uh, no later than February. Um, and again, at the same time, uh, the fire truck specifications are all being packaged and ready to be delivered. Um, we just have so many things that are happening all at one time, it's pretty hard to, uh, to focus on one. But we are definitely a, a motivated force right now mm -hmm. as far as the headquarters element, as well as the men in the field, of course. Uh, but the headquarters element uh, specifically, uh, we've all got our task. Uh, we've been delegated out, or I've, I've delegated out the different tasks to the right people, and uh, everybody seems to be moving forward every day. So I, I think we're going to see a great year for us. Uh, 2012, like I've stated before, um, will be definitely a hallmark year for us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, although I, you know, of course I can't foresee any obstacles, or, or but, you know, we've been successful in uh, breaking down those obstacles as we've come across them. and. Uh, I think with that same attitude, uh, we'll be able to do it in the future. Of course, obstacles like with any government agency, ranging from uh, funding to personnel. Absolutely. Any, what was your resolution, I guess, for the fire department? Uh, well, what we did, uh, I mean, personnel is always going to be an issue. But what we've had to do is, is again, move people around, 
uh, determine what what's best to meet the community's needs, and, and that's really what it comes down to is what the what does the community expect from their fire department, and uh, we've had to evaluate that, and and unfortunately, uh, you know, my appointment came on the heels of 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 one of those. Uh, uh, fact-finding parts as far as what is the community really to accept and mm -hmm. unfortunately it took the death of an infant uh, to truly realize that the community is not satisfied with the fire department that it has and uh, this administration has taken some bold steps to to uh, to fix it uh, of course by taking somebody like me who's definitely not part of the grain uh, maybe against the grain at times uh, but you know, we all have the same vision, and that's just to make the department uh, the right department for the island. And uh, we've been able to work together in that respect. And uh, so far, they've been giving me their their big, their greatest support, and I'm running with it while I can. All right, GFD Fire Chief Joe Nicholas, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.